Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello, my name is Robert and welcome to Performance Architects How To. In this how to, we will be discussing how to quickly and easily migrate and add new variables to an SBase cube. To do that, we will be extracting variables from an existing SBase cube using Maxell, then using Excel to create and change variable values. We will then import those variables using Maxell, and then we'll do a quick wrap up. To do the extraction process, we'll need to design the following Maxell script. You'll notice the items in green should be easy to change. So we'll log into the server using the username and password that you have for your server, also designating that server. We'll go ahead and spool the output of the following command to a particular file. That way we can look at it later. The name of the command we're interested in running is display variable on database, and we'll reference a particular application and database. Then we'll go ahead and spool that off and log out. Some possible adjustments you may be interested in making are to display all the variables for a particular application, you would use the first option here, display variable on application, and then the application name. Or you could choose to display all the variables within the entire SBase server. We will then use Excel to create and change those variable values. First, we'll open the spooled file. Then we'll go ahead and clean up that worksheet and then we'll go ahead and add an additional column using a concatenate function and then we'll fill that down to the bottom. After which we will do our import into the new SBase environment. So we'll go ahead and have to log in again on that server. We'll spool the output again so we can look at that. And then here in red where it says copy from Excel, we'll go ahead and copy that new column we just created in Excel and put it here. We'll go ahead and spool off and log out. Now let's do a quick demo. Here you will see I've logged into EAS and provided the appropriate information for our script. You'll notice we have the login credentials. We also have spool onto file and it'll be the C variable directory. And then we'll go ahead and put it into a variable.txt file. And then I'm going to go ahead and display all the variables related to the demo of our demo of our database. We'll go ahead and spool off and log out. Let's execute that. Here you will see we have two variables and their appropriate values. Now let's go to Excel. So here in Excel, you'll notice I've gone to the appropriate directory, as well as I've told it we want to display all files because I did a .txt file. So we'll go ahead and open that. Now it gives us our normal window here for importing into Excel and you'll see I'm choosing fixed width. Additionally, I'm going to go ahead and tell it I want it to start on line 5 which is the application database variable and value line. Go ahead and hit next and now we're going to tell it where the fields break. So right in front of database, variable, and value. We'll go ahead and hit finish. I personally like to get rid of this line here with the dashes so we'll go ahead and hit delete that and now let's input our formula. And there's our formula. Now this formula will add new variables. Since for the purposes of this demo I actually want to change variables, what I will do here is I'm going to go ahead and change add variable to set and we will go ahead and fill that down. Additionally, I want to be changing these variables. Now it's going to be quarter three and the previous quarter will be quarter two. There are our variables. Go ahead and copy those, our new Maxell script, and go back to Maxell. Since 
since everything is basically the same, I'm going to go ahead and put change the file so it'll be variable import and paste in our new Maxell formula from the Excel. Go ahead and update that and you'll see it says altered. altered. There we go. Now we've quickly updated those variables. We could have added them if we'd wanted to and we're all set. This has been another Performance Architects how-to. Hope you've enjoyed and have a great day. In this how-to, we discuss how to quickly change and update variables using Maxell and Excel to be able to migrate them from various S-based cubes to other ones. How to we discuss how to quickly migrate and update variables and in this how to we discuss how to quickly migrate and update variables using Excel and MXL. Thank you for joining and please visit Performance Architects How To channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions. In this how-to, we discuss how to quickly and easily migrate variables from one S-based database using Maxell and Excel to another. Thank you for joining, and please visit Performance Architects How-To channel in order to see other videos on enterprise performance management solutions as well.